what is up everybody josh back here with planet chinchilla thanks for coming back to the channel guys today i've got chili out for a little bit we had to get a dust bath in some cage cleaning and i wanted to go over a quick video today about getting a chinchilla from a pet store is it the best idea for you or maybe it's not we'll be right back Real quick guys, if you find this kind of content helpful, useful, beneficial in any way, be sure to like this video, drop a comment below for us, let us know. Say, hey, Josh and Chili, we're liking the videos, they're helpful, keep making them. We do have another video every single week, so plenty of content coming. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified when new videos come out. And now guys, let's go ahead and start diving into adopting a chinchilla from a pet store. If it's the best idea, what alternatives you have, and if I would recommend it in general. If Chili here recommends it, we're not really sure. She's got her own opinion on things, but she doesn't talk too much. But for now, let's kind of start just going into the pros and cons of getting a chinchilla from a pet store. Man, she is just covered in that dust today. All right guys, number one thing I wanna say about getting a chinchilla from a pet store is I don't necessarily recommend against it if it's your only option. Chinchillas are awesome. So if a pet store is the only option you have locally, there's no good breeders around you. There's nothing wrong with getting a chinchilla from a pet store. These guys are awesome pets. I would recommend it. I just continue to see people talking in all the communities about getting them from pet stores as opposed to breeders. And there are some pros and cons. The first negative you have when you get a chinchilla from a pet store is you're not 100% sure about how socialized they are or what kind of background they have they i mean i can't even tell you where a chinchilla from a pet store really comes from clearly they're still coming from some kind of domestic breeder but we don't know if they've been around other chinchillas if they've been around other people so that can be kind of a nuisance it can make teaching these guys how to be handled without freaking out much harder it can just make things a lot more difficult if they aren't social necessarily. I mean, even my chinchilla here, she's relatively social. I wouldn't say she's at the top end. Some Sometimes when I'm making videos, she doesn't cooperate fully. She still gets a little scared. But overall, she's pretty awesome. I mean, she cooperates for the most part and she's been social since I've had her. So I have no regrets on getting her from a breeder. I know that I already have a video about choosing a breeder, but in that video, which I'll link below, we don't go into huge depth about the pet store side of things. So I really wanted a separate video on that. I think she wants some oats. All right, guys, number two reason I'm not a big fan of the pet stores is the amount of knowledge and help that you can get from the employees is very limited compared to a breeder. I can't even begin to tell you how much help my breeder was with all of the questions that I had, even teaching me how to initially grab her using the old school base of the tail technique down here. She taught me everything I needed to know to take this little girl here home and to get her comfortable. She's about to dive into those oats. But you're just not gonna get that from an employee at Petco or PetSmart. They just don't know. I don't think that they've dealt with chinchillas enough. I mean, who really has? They're a popular exotic pet is probably the most the most you credit you could give them for their popularity but compared to other pets a pet store employee just isn't going to know which can make things really difficult if you have questions on how to pick these guys up can you pet them are they going to just ferociously bite at me i mean those are kind of important to know these guys have sharp teeth and it would be nice to know how to hold these guys and a breeder is going to be the best for breaking that down for you you're not gonna get a pet store employee that's like, oh sure, let me teach you how to hold them. If you do, hats off to you. Leave a comment below, but that's gonna be more rare than it is common. It's just not gonna happen most of the time. My next reason that I would recommend trying to get to a breeder if you have one within driving distance is the fact that it is just tough to get a, a chinchilla from a pet store. I've been trying to run basically 
this test of calling the pet stores locally and seeing when they're getting a chinchilla in or if they have one that I can adopt because I do want a second one. But for the reasons of planetchinchilla.com, the blog, I'll link it below in the description. And for the reasons of not wanting to drive all the way back to a breeder and for testing purposes a little bit, I want to get one this time. She's trying to interrupt my camera angle here from a pet store. I'm really looking for a specific chinchilla. And every time that I call, they either don't have one, they don't know when one is coming in, or the ones that they have are sold. So that's another reason you need to keep in mind if you're on kind of that early planning process right now for adopting one of these guys that you may run into that. So you might wanna start leaning towards a breeder, again, if you do have them locally. And I will place, again, the link in the description below, not only for my video about adopting a chinchilla from a breeder, but for my blog post that breaks down a lot of the breeders in the United States that you can pick from by state, but other tips that you can implement when you go to adopt these guys. She's just playing, having some fun here. All right, guys, my last little tidbit about getting a chinchilla from a pet store is I love the fact that you can get a lot of help with the initial accessories and food when you go to the breeder. I am aware that you can get this stuff from the pet store too, but I got help with my first cage, a travel cage, all sorts of things when I first got her. I, they took a lot of the burden off of me and she's just awesome too. So I'm always gonna advocate for a breeder, mainly because I've had such a good time with her. But in general, you can get a lot of like the beginner starter stuff that you need. We're talking the dust bath, the dust, whether they charge for it or throw in a couple things for free based on the price of the chinchilla or not is obviously up to them and probably based on the supply and demand they're dealing with. But that's a huge benefit when you don't know what you're doing and you can get a bunch of those initial care items that you need for your chinchilla. It can help a lot. So keep that in mind whenever you're searching for your next chinchilla or first chinchilla. And last but not least, guys, another big reason why breeders are popular compared to pet stores is the color and mutation options that you have at breeders. These guys don't just come in the standard gray that I have right here. I know she's beautiful. I know she's awesome. But she's taken. I'm just kidding. But there, I mean, you have ebony chinchillas, white chinchillas, gold, TOV chinchillas, tons of options. You might want a different color and you're not going to have this big aisle of pretty chinchillas lined up for you at Petco. If they have one in stock, it's going to be a couple of them. And I doubt they're awesome like this and just all over you. But the point there is simple. If you want options for colors, if you want to see a bunch of chinchillas in action, how they're interacting with their brothers and sisters, mommy and daddy, a breeder is the way to go for sure. All right, guys, like I said at the beginning, if you guys like this kind of content, if you find it useful at all, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Chili appreciates it. She likes being the star of the show for you when she can, when she's out and about. Give us that thumbs up on this video. Drop any comments that you have for us and hit that notification bell. And we will catch you guys next time. And we appreciate you greatly for stopping by. See you soon.